boys and girls. Today we're going to go back to addition and we're going to talk about adding three digit plus three digit with regrouping. This is just a review, but I did pick kind of a trickier problem where you have to regroup in two places because you will see that on your assignment. So again, we're gonna go over the four strategies and this time it's gonna be three digit plus three digit. So we're going to start with base 10. And again, remember, on your assignment, you can use whatever strategy you are comfortable with, or you can switch it up and use a bunch of different strategies. So let's focus on base 10 first. We have 253 plus 268. So I'm going to start by drawing two hundreds, five tens, and three ones plus 268. So two more hundreds plus six tens, then eight ones. Now, remember when I am drawing, if I choose to use this strategy, it is important to line your ones up line your tens up and line your hundreds up so you are able to regroup more easily without making a mistake. So now remember we always start with the ones. I'm going to count up and first I'm going to see if I can make a bundle of 10. So I know I have eight down here, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So I can make a bundle here so there is my bundle. You see, I have one outside the bundle because this right here makes 10. So I'm going to put an X through that or a slash through that and I'm going to come over here to my tens and I'm going to add a 10. So I bundle a 10 and I composed it to make a 10 over here. So now I can come back to my ones. I cannot group another 10. So I left with one single. So I put the number one right there. Now I'm ready to count my tens and see if I can make a bundle of 10, if I can compose 10 tens into a hundred. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I can. So I'm going to do that. You can see right here, I group that 10. I'm going to put a mark through that and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to give myself a hundred. So I compose 10 tens to make a hundred. Now I go back to my tens. I cannot compose another 10. So I'm left with two tens. All right, now I look at my hundreds. I do not have enough hundreds to compose to make a thousand. So I'm ready to just count my hundreds. I have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. So that makes my answer for 253 plus 268, 521. All right, now we're going to jump over to the expanded strategy, expanded form. So I would take my first number, 253, and I would break that up into 200, plus 50 plus 3. So you just decompose it down. And then I'm going to put a plus sign and then I have 268 which decomposes to 200 plus 60 plus 8. So we've broken it up. Now I'm ready to add up. I always start with my 1. So I have 8 plus 3 which is 11. Put a plus sign. Everything is lined up. I have 50 plus 60. So that gives me 110. And then a plus sign. And then 200 plus 200 is 400. All right, now I'm ready to start adding up. So I can look right here and I see 400 and 110. That gives me 510 plus 11, so when I add that up, that gives me 521. So you see, we're getting the same answer. 
no matter what strategy you use, you should get the same answer. Remember, this expanded form strategy can be a little tricky, but if you like seeing it all broke down like that, it's a great strategy to use. Number line. For our number line, we are going to draw the number line. Now, we are adding, so I'm going to start at A side. Remember, when we are adding, it doesn't matter which add-in we put first. I can start with 268 since that's the bigger number. So I'm going to put 268 right here. And then down here, I'm going to put a little plus 253 to remind myself that that's how much I have to add. Now, I'm going to start at 268 and I'm going to go ahead and do a big hop and let that be plus 200. So you don't have to jump 100 and then 100 more. You can go ahead and jump 200. If you want to break it down and do 100 and then a second hop for a second 100, you can. But we just hopped the whole 200, so I'm going to put a little check right there under my two. Now I'm ready to jump and hop 5, 10. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And each one of these needs to have a plus 10 above it. So I can put a check there. And then I have three singles left that I need to hop. So it's one, two, three. And each of those get a plus one. All right, so remember, before I stop, or before I start to actually do my math, I want to make sure that I actually hopped 250, or 253. So there's 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 251, 252, 253. So I am ready to start doing my math. 268 plus 200 gives me 468. Now I'm ready to hop 10 more. Remember, we are adding 10. So 468 plus 10 is 478. 478 plus 10 is 488. 488 plus 10 is 498. This next one you have to be careful because in this case your 10s and your 1s change because you're moving 100, you're going into the 500s. So 498 plus 10 becomes 508. I'm sorry, your 1s is not changing. And then 508 plus 10 becomes 518 and now we're ready to just hop those singles. 518 plus 1 is 519, 519 plus 1 is 520, and 520 plus 1 is 521. So our answer is 521 on the number line. And then our last method strategy that we can use is stacking. Again, parents, if you're watching, stacking is what you and I learned in school. So we simply rewrite our problem, 253 plus 268. The important thing here is that you write neatly and you line up your ones, you line up your tens, you line up your hundreds. So I'm ready to always start with my ones. 8 plus 3 is 11, so I'm going to write the 1 down here and carry that 10 over. Do not forget to carry that 10. I've seen some of our work where we're forgetting to carry that 10, and it does mess our answer up. So now we have 6 plus 5, which is 11. Add one more 10, and that's 12. And then I'm ready to carry that 1 over. And now I have 200s plus 200s plus 100, which gives me 500. So my answer is 521. Pick the strategy that you are most comfortable with and have fun.